Hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter. So today I'm going to attempt to assemble a wooden desk organizer that I picked up at Temu. Um, this was just a package of, of wooden pieces that will eventually, once assembled, create a little desk organizer. I'm going to probably use it from my markers and some other like small papers on my desk. It even has like a small drawer at the bottom. So I'm hoping that these instructions are totally doable. It's just a lot of pictures and very few words. And basically the words say, assemble the board number five and six as it shows in the picture. So, I mean, <laughs> you really got to be... Um, uh, just a little bit aware of what you're going to get once you pick up something like this from a, a company that doesn't really specialize in furniture building. So it's not an Ikea piece, but it's almost close, right? It's like the instructions are all based on photos and images. So this is what the finished piece will look like. I'm going to try to let that focus for a second. It should be like a lot of slots at the top. Uh, four slots at the top and then a, a lower shelf right over here There's like two little pockets for adding additional papers and such on there and then down at the bottom there um, There's a little drawer and those slots right here. These four are slanted They lean backwards so that I can probably put like maybe a lot of pens or markers or something of that nature into those slots I'm gonna give this a try. You might want to stick around to see how this turns out. All right okay so let's just start with the first let's start with the first picture um, here I'm gonna do four pieces at once right here in this picture is what it states to do so I'm gonna grab the four pieces that it wants me to assemble actually there's five pieces all right and I'm gonna use their screws and um, the screws that they provided and um, the little screwdriver that came along with this project. So just based on the picture alone, I can tell that this is what they want me to do with these pieces right here. And um, it's so far so good. <laughs> this looks like the drawer that we're, bu that we're building initially. And I don't know I guess it goes this way um, so yeah I'm gonna build the drawer initially and move on to the rest of the unit after that so there's no glue involved it's just these little tiny screws which I've moved into my little trash bin <laughs> and I basically use that when I when I die cut something or if I'm uh, picking something through for from my Sizzix I usually just uh, use this to wipe off the vinyl the excess vinyl or to dump my dyes my dye negatives into it and then of course it's a whole nother thing when you got to take it to the trash so I'm just using it to hold my screws today and the um, drawer knob that's down in there just makes everything a little bit easier to keep things all together um, when you're doing something like this. This is a very tiny project so I'm hoping I can get it done in a reasonable amount of time so the screws are weird they do not go into anything <laughs> I'll show you what I mean uh, these screws do not screw into anything it just goes into a pre drilled out slot that's right here on the side of the box there's one up here for the next set of screws that I'm going to put in um, but yeah I just screwed this screw in and it didn't go anywhere except like right there okay so sorry let's get that to focus it probably won't there's too much on my desk anyway so I'm just going to do what it says to do right I'm just going to put these screws in and hope for, hope for the best really let's see yeah so they don't there's no <laughs> I, I looked at the screws initially and was like these screws are way too big for this wood it it's not gonna um, hold it's going to um, you know split the wood and I was just really concerned about it and then I realized that there aren't any there's no screw holes it's just a bunch of slots that you just pretend to screw the screw into <laughs> it's the funniest thing ever but I mean so far 
that's holding. This is about the size of the drawer. And if I'm not mistaken, the drawer runs the full length of the entire unit. So this is about the width of the whole thing. Okay, so I have done that correct so far. Let's move on to step number two. Guess I'll move that out of the way. Step number two requires me to pull out um, pieces five and six, which looks like this and this, right? And I'm going to place these two together and add a screw here in the middle, I'm assuming. All of this is, I'm assuming, okay, because, <laughs> again, these instructions are so vague, it's all questionable, but I'm going by the picture, and the pictures tell me what uh, shape the wood is in, it also tells me um, if there's a screw required for this uh, part or not, because based on the shape of the item, step seven, or really step three, requires me to use step uh, piece number seven so I'm gonna put this in all of the pieces are numbered and not like numbered you would see on the piece it's numbered up here in this diagram of the shape of the piece so you know touch and go folks it's all touch and go <laughs> uh, again I'm going to insert piece number seven and put a screw in here hopefully this is right okay I think that's holding so far so good all right so there's that and now I <laughs> And now <laughs> I'm going to move on to piece number eight, which is this guy on step four. So piece number eight fits into both the bottom and the back. Okay, yep, that worked. Let me grab a screw and see where this goes. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's working out. As far as I can tell, it looks like it should. It looks like it should. <laughs> and it also is working. Pieces are, are being magically held together based on this design. So, step number five requires me to pull piece number nine. And that one's going over here on this side. So... I guess like, you know, I, I'm i just so weary of these screws that didn't really go into anything. I'm just hoping that, you know, all of it is holding together. So, all right, step number five, piece number nine, and there's 20 total pieces in the box, all right? So, piece number nine looks like it has quite a number of screws. I'm going to put one in each of these slots down here. Whew. <laughs> Sorry if it's really close. You can't really see where I'm screwing next, but I'm down here at this front section of piece number nine. And um, it requires two screws right here. And I think two screws in the back. Yep, so anyway guys, I hope y'all are having a super crafty day. Let me know down in the comments, have you guys ever purchased anything that looks like this? Any kind of um, storage organizer or um, it looks like balsa wood covered with a laminate sort of, you know? Or maybe it's like chip wood with the laminate covering on it. So yeah, just let me know if you guys ever purchase anything like this. And how it's working out for you. I just went by the, um, the the reviews that were on Temu. And I didn't see anything bad about it. I really wanted the black 
um, piece. There's like three different colors. There's like a cherry wood, this sort of natural wood color, and then there was a black um, laminated piece. And I was just like, I really wanted the black one just to, I don't know, contrast on my desk. I have a lot of white organizers on my desk. So, but it didn't work out like you know the price that they wanted for the black one was just not what I wanted to pay uh, even with my Temu discount and um, so yeah I, I passed on it but let me know if you guys have ever picked up anything like this this is a very unique kind of Japanese style of furniture assembly I know lots of large pieces of furniture is assembled this way I'm assuming that this is pretty pretty sturdy um so yeah let me know if y'all are have experienced anything with this type of furniture before um step number t um, six requires me to use piece number 10 and piece number 10 only connects to these two pieces here the side and this side okay so i'm gonna have to flip this over in order to screw in the screws and one screw goes here on this side and another screw goes on the back this is not difficult at all like the uh, difficulty level on this is like maybe a very a very early beginner there's no there's nothing challenging about it other than working through the the pieces the numbered pieces as well as following the pictured steps that are on there so i think that it's doable anybody can do this if you can turn a screwdriver then you're in good shape <laughs> because again there's no no pressure needed in order to screw these in um, you don't need a drill or any special tools or anything like that it just kind of just all works itself out step number seven wants me to grab this piece right here and place it back here into piece number 10 and add a couple of screws and so the screws again they don't screw into anything so there's no there's no forcing of any um of you know like forcing anything in these are all like pre-drilled slots not even drilled holes they're just pre-drilled slots that you're screwing the screw into and i i would say again the 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 uh difficulty level on this is super simple I mean beginner all right so there's no only one screw for that section um, step number 12 I'm already inserting slots guys look at this here's step number 12 that wants me to put this slot right into there that's where the pens would sit see this angle that it sits on right here I'll use an actual natural pen right it sits on an angle almost naturally um, it looks a little crooked if you ask me but I don't know I don't know that piece right there looks a little crooked let me try a different one yeah it, it's a little it's a little off and I followed every set step that was there so that was step number eight which required me to use piece number 12. Step number nine wants me to use another piece number 12 right through here. Step number 10 wants me to use um, piece number 13, which looks like this. And that goes right in here. Okay, that's it. That's all there is to that. Step number 11 says get with this piece right here and insert it into this section. So questionable. Um, that's not the right piece. All right, folks, we found our first problem. I don't think that's where this goes. 
we'll see okay yes it does why didn't it fit the other way though oh because this jets out right here okay so there is a, a side okay there is a right side and a wrong side just keep that in mind when you are looking at the pictures make sure that you are following the exact the exact um, picture as it shows the, sh the shape of the uh, of the piece there's nothing to screw in right there I'm on step number 12 wants me to grab whoops this piece down here it's facing this way is it yeah it is and that doesn't fit well what do you want me to do with this step number 12 oh here it is <laughs> well what do you want me to do with it piece number 12 <laughs> all right so all right I'm gonna screw this one in right here and move on to step number 13 which is this guy fits right in here this is almost too unbelievable like I cannot believe we are almost done um, step number 14 it's this piece right here 17 get on there Okay, I'm going to turn this on its side to make sure everything is in where it needs to be. There we go. Hold that in place. I guess I'll know when I'm done, when I run out of screws. <laughs> That's one way to do it. When you've reached the end of your pile of screws, you are complete with this process. So... I'm on step number 14 which is using piece number 17 and that's all holding together fairly well guys I'm I'm impressed I may have to get some more of these depending on I'm not gonna just uh, purchase it for the sake of purchasing it let's just see what I can store in it first and then I may consider getting another one of these because this is like too easy to build seems pretty sturdy um, the instructions are fairly understandable nothing dramatic or or out of the norm um, I have an extra piece and I'm not sure where it goes yet but let me finish screwing in these two pieces I am not sure what I did wrong so far I'm looking at this piece number 18 and I don't really see where it goes oh okay I see it they actually they actually wrote the number right on top of where this piece would go so step number 15 is um, using piece number 18 and piece number 18 goes right through here okay pretty sturdy so far so good I have three extra screws I I don't know did I miss something because I'm up to the last step which is <laughs> uh, putting in this drawer I'm just gonna flip it over and see if there's any screw holes empty any of the slots that are empty and I guess those are just extra screws in case you've misplaced uh, one or two or all <laughs> or three um, the last step is to put in this cute little it's like a plastic but it's made to look like glass little handle a knob into here and it comes with its own special screw so it's that screw size and you just pop that in here and screw this in here the end result is um, what they're calling a positive effect <laughs> So, if you've done everything correct, you will have a positive effect on this whole thing, and this is what it will look like. Alright, my drawer slides right in there. No problem. 
okay and here you have a completely assembled desk organizer from Temu all right if you guys can you can you imagine like this is like actual actual organizer furniture from um, a craft place a craft craft website basically at least that's what I'm using it for so a lot of people buy different things there I mean there's there's tons of things on this website temu.com temu the app there are hundreds of thousands of items on this website and I happen to pick this okay it came all wrapped up in a very flat package with um, you know bubble wrap around it and I just assembled this in under 20 minutes like in I mean it's insane it's just crazy to me and it's pretty sturdy like it's not doesn't seem like it's gonna collapse on you not gonna fall apart all the screws have a home and I even got three extra screws left over in case something may have fallen or um, maybe a bent screw or what have you but with just this little tiny screwdriver I built this entire thing it's basically chipboard wrapped in a laminate paper on either side to look like wood but I mean really guys it's too easy too too easy all right three tiers for pens there's some pen standing storage here some paper storage here additional storage under here and a full drawer the size of the entire bottom of the box I mean can't really go wrong on that and um, I think this was only like eleven dollars so just uh, consider it if you're looking for a desk organizer desk storage if you don't mind spending the time assembling it um, yourself then look into something like this additionally they sent me this little guy which I thought was hilarious and could not figure out what it was or where it goes in this project <laughs> so and then there was a letter H and now I'm really confused I'm like what do I do with this so what I did was just tucked it into the back of this thing uh, the shape of a rabbit or a dog's face maybe and um, stood it up on my desk and I was like ugh you know genius it can hold your phone which I don't have with me right now it can hold your remote you know it's just a little extra something that they sent you a little phone stand which you know free gift all right I'm down for a free gift any day so yeah it's not um, it's not a uh, super sturdy but at least you can run your cord through the back here plug in your phone or you know run it underneath here and plug your phone in and it's a cute little stand that came with the project so alright guys I think I think I, I scored with this and um, I think I'm gonna leave you right here so I want you guys to have a super crafty day check out temu.com temu the app um, just let me know what you guys think what would you purchase from temu if you were to to shop at Temu. Um, there are so many Temu uh, videos on YouTube right now. It's like the all the crave, all the rave. Everybody's like, you know, getting their Temu on. So yeah, just check that out and let me know what would you purchase if you were to go on Temu. Um, their craft supplies are amazing. I have no problems with any of it. But leave me a comment down below. All right, I'll definitely talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks to each and every one of you for subscribing to the channel, liking my videos, hitting that thumbs up. It's so important to me and I do appreciate each and every one of you for sharing these videos and hitting that bell for notification after you've subscribed to the channel really does notify you every time I upload a new video stay naturally curious guys and I'll talk to you in the next video bye